Well, good morning to you, and God bless you. Amaryllis Man reporting again. Wanted to share a little bit about pod production on your Amaryllis. That's the way it makes its seed. After the stigma has been pollinated, either by a bee or by you, it travels down to the base of the bloom, to the ovum, and it starts to swell. As you can see, we've got the beginning of a seed pod at the rear end of the blossom. And in uh, a week or so, they'll continue to grow as these have grown, and they're getting up to about quarter size. Here's one that didn't make it. See how the seed pods fail to develop? Maybe it wasn't pollinated. Some varieties will not produce seed. Here are others that are developing. About the same as the ones we saw. These are a little further along. They're up to about half dollar size, if you know what a half dollar is anymore. We're really having good seed production here this winter in the Samarillas production seed production room. Wanted to show you this tremendous plant and count the seed pods. They're really in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where is it at? It's there. Eight, nine seed pods and still others developing. This plant is Luna. I've never had one to produce that many seed pods. So eventually they'll mature when they get about this size and they'll start to fade and turn a whitish brown and then they'll pop open and after they pop open you can harvest the seed. Here's some seed that I harvested this morning. Orange Sovereign. Not many of them. Uh, only about uh, 20 seed in that pod. Some seeds will produce up to 40 or even more seed. Rarely will they do more than that. Well, a little bit about uh, seed pods for amaryllis. Uh, remember, it'll take quite a while of, to nurture these seeds into sprouts and full-grown plants so that they will bloom. But it's rewarding when they get to that place. Here's our information. www.stores.ebay.com slash amaryllis man. We carry a lot of wonderful amaryllis seed for you. See you there. God bless you. Bye-bye.